Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Michael Wynn joins us today with details on the upcoming Kavanaugh Lecture. Michael, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, it's always an honor and pleasure, and I appreciate you squeezing me in today. Absolutely, and this is more than just you presenting at a lecture. You've been working on this project for years now. Tell us about it. Well, thank you for asking. Of course, today's talk is very, or tomorrow night's talk is very somber. Uh, it's about lynching in Louisiana. And I discovered, came across a couple of stories of a lynching of an African-American in front of what they called then the Negro Community Center on Cason Street, just two blocks behind us. It occurred in 1958. And I, I was really shocked. I thought I kind of knew the history of Central Louisiana and Rapids Parish. And I was shocked by this lynching. And I checked all the history books uh, in this area. No mention of any lynchings. So I started delving in it deeper and deeper. And I kept on finding lynch. Now, I'm talking about documented lynching, not just hypothetical. Actual newspaper accounts, court accounts of lynchings. And I, I kept on, it just kept on getting worse and worse. Uh, I'm up to the, about 40, as much as 47 lynchings in Rapids Parish alone. Wow. And just to remind people, wow. lynchings are not like you see in television programs and in movies. It's a strangulation of a human being done in front of other people for ba basically entertainment purposes, for no legal, ethical, moral reason you can imagine. Uh, there's a growing phenomenon in the U.S. right now about recognizing and identifying and documenting lynchings and having historical markers put up. Uh, I'm also in the process from last fall. Myself and my, and my team have collected dirt samples where lynching victims have been lynched and killed because there's nothing else left of them. They weren't ever given a Christian burial or anything like that. And, well, of course, I only have a couple of minutes here to talk about this, but there is a true behind-the-scenes story that nobody knows until now. And I've been documenting it. In, in, I first of all started off uh, in Rapids Parish with my first book. And I only show this for the, for the sake of people wanting to know more about our history right here. And I'm now, I've now just published book number three for Northeast Louisiana. And I plan to document all the lynchings in Louisiana. It will take several years. Each story is absolutely incredible and different from the other stories. You could make a movie about every one of these stories and nobody would believe it. Uh, so that's why I'm very carefully, fully documenting this. And is, I'm talking about what I've discovered tomorrow night, Thursday night, at Westside Regional Library in Provine Place off of 28 at 6.30. I think some times have been published for 6 o'clock, but it's 6.30. But I do recommend everybody who wants to hear this get there early because I think there's going to be a big crowd based upon the calls to the library alone. This is the first time I've ever really talked about this in public, and I'm not sure if I have the courage to talk about it again because it is just as unbelievable as I've ever seen in my life and as tragic as anything I've ever seen in my life. And I do encourage, if you want to know the truth about what Central Louisiana was, we had a lot of good people, a lot of good things happen. But we also have a bad side to us. Mobs ran this parish, and uh, I could, I'll stop there. <laughs> I could, I, 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 go ahead. If well, you, you know, uh, I'm curious what you used to do your research with if there were no recordings of this in any history books or anything like that. Well, the short version is the newspapers. We had 12 newspapers up till 1878. Wow. Uh, not all running at the same time. And there are newspaper accounts surviving. And back then, the newspapers were extremely detailed, very non-politically correct. They published everything. If there was a rape victim, they would publish the name, tell how the rape victim's doing, where they live, who they, their parents were. And they'd publish medical reports, coroner's inquests. Everything was published in the newspaper. Uh, and, and these things were repeated. I have been able to document one rape, uh, lynching that occurred in Rapids Parish that appeared in at least 350 newspapers in Canada, in Europe, and overseas. What happened here made international news. And wow. 
we, it's, uh, we had lynchings all over Louisiana. We had lynchings in the South, but we had lynchings in the North. There's a lot of misinformation. There were uh, white people lynched African Americans, African Americans who lynched African Americans, African Americans lynched white people. Ch women were lynched, children were lynched, uh, just to punish the parents. And uh, immigrants were lynched. Uh, the accounts are just unbelievable and what w really went on. Wow, well, I mean, it's definitely fascinating what you're uncovering to, to um, you know, that we know and have awareness of uh, what has happened in the past and documenting that as well equally important and uh, we look forward to listening to that Kavanaugh lecture. Everybody's invited, no reservations, no cost. Please come and hear the past and I think you will be, everybody who comes will be surprised. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Michael. We appreciate it. Thank you, Natalie. Of course. We have more to come on Good Day Sin Law. Stay right here.